Oh, what do we got here? This is a very special spoon. Okay. It was uh, handed down through my family, and I was told that uh, it was made by Paul Revere. The British are coming! The British are coming! It does say Revere on the back of it. I'm going in the pawn shop today to try and sell my old silver Paul Revere spoon. My daughter is getting married, and we're uh, putting out for a very expensive wedding, so I obviously need to get as much as I can for this spoon. Do you know anything about it? Uh, like I said, supposedly it dates back to the days of Paul Revere. Not only did he make one of the most famous rides ever, <laughs> he was also a silversmith. Usually these are behind like uh, three inches of glass. It definitely looks old because you got this rainbow patina right here. This spoon looks right and it looks old. And if it was really made by Paul Revere, it's a piece of American history. And I can't begin to tell you how much I want it. Have any idea what it's worth? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, if it's Revere, it could be worth a lot of money. I mean, possibly it may be a $10,000 spoon. But I'm not going to throw out a number until I have someone look at it. Sure. So, Rick, what are your concerns about this piece? Everything looks like it could be old, but I'm not going to put out money until I know. And this appears to be uh, coin silver. The patina is lovely. It's original and natural. So whatever's developed here doesn't appear to be fake. So let's take a look at the hallmark. It's really nice and sharp, nice and clear, and all of the fonts match up. This looks like it's the real deal. Sweet. So here's the big question. What's it worth? If this was gonna be one of our auctions, I would estimate it to be somewhere in the vicinity of uh, 12 to $18,000. This spoon is amazing. It should be in a museum, but it's not. It's in my shop, and I'm gonna do everything I can to get it. Okay, here comes the fun part. What do you want for it? Well, <clears throat> I'd like to see 15 grand. Um, when I sell it, I'd love to see 15 grand. <laughs> All right, so uh, seven grand cash, deal. Uh... <laughs> Hey, uh, come on here. Uh, let's tap dance a little bit here. I mean, eight grand? Man, <clears throat> you're killing me. <sighs> we take nine grand for it. 95 and you got a deal. <sighs> All right, 9,500. You got a deal. Let's go do some paperwork. We settled for 9,500, and that will help out immensely. So my daughter's just going to have a wonderful wedding. I am so happy we were able to make a deal. It's going to look great in the showcase, and it's going to bring a ton of history buffs into my shop. Mr. Brown and I got along famously. <laughs> Why he tittled through a pass? I caught the ball myself. It's got a name engraved on it. How did you end up with this? Sounds so fun.